What's going on, y'all? It's your boy King June here, and I got a special guest coming in from up top, Buffalo, New York, to be exact. He came out here, made his name in the city of Atlanta with this rap uh, situation. Dope artist, dope businessman, dope actor. Man, he got so many accolades and asterisks. I don't, I, man, you just can't put one title on him. You know, I got my boy here, Ponzo Houdini. Yo, it's Ponzo Houdini. Cake balls, cake balls. I appreciate you for having me, brother. Definitely. What's going on, man? What's, what's up, man? Look at you man. drip, man. I see you got a new piece, man. <laughs> oh, show, man. I gotta Just get mine my up. Move, I gotta bro. get mine. I'm gonna get mine up. Just working my move, bro. You know, <laughs> I've been blessed, man. God has been blessing me because I've been putting in work for a long, long time. I'm okay. going on 17 years chasing my dream. So. Okay. Like, how's that journey going for you? Like, you know, what what have um, you excelled at? How how things coming up, you know, falling in place for you? Well, I mean, the journey has been a rough road. I ain't gonna sit up here and lie. I work hard to make it look easy. So um, I just thank God that I'm able to still be here through perseverance and dedication. I mean, I overcame a lot of pitfalls and most people would have gave up a long time ago, but you know, I feel like this is my purpose. So I'm okay. gonna keep climbing. Okay. So how did you end up in Atlanta? I always wanted to be in Atlanta. I'm going to be honest with you. So like <laughs> when I was uh, first jumped off the porch into the streets, that's when the trap wave came about. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the early night, you know, I'm from upstate. I'm from New York. So, you know, um, the 90s is when they really was going crazy with the music and they had it on lock. And it was more so like grimy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? They was talking about getting money too, but it was more so a grimy era. Now in the 2000s is when I jumped off the porch and was in the streets. That trap wave came with the Jeezys, the the Gucci's, the Yo Gotti's, the Tips, the OJ, the Juice Man's, the Dolph, the hustling music came. So that's what I was mostly influenced by because I was really outside in the streets doing this. So, you know what I mean? Like I was intrigued by the Atlanta um, movement um, as far as how they stuck together, they put their people on. And I just seen that this was like, even before Wakanda came out, this was Wakanda, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, that's where I need to be because I see where the music business is headed. And I see like, it's so segregated up North and everybody is against each other and everybody is oppositions in New York. So, you know what I mean? I wanted to come down here since like 07, but you know, through the uh, trials and tribulations of being in the streets, um, going in and out of prison, different toxic relationships with different females, having kids, and just financial situations that wasn't right at the time, I couldn't get here. But, um, you know, God blessed me to be able to get here two years ago, and I've been here for two years, and everything has been falling into place. Okay, okay. So, like, the, for those of the people out there that don't know the difference between NYC and upstate New York, what's the, what's the difference in far as, like, uh, the people, the atmosphere, or whatever? Um, I'm going to be honest with you, um, the difference is about six hour drive, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, Buffalo um, has been like long lost city in, in New York for a long time. For a long time, they thought we was just um, farming and cows and shit like that until, you know, people are from Buffalo being upstate prisons, networking and uh, connecting with other people. And they really figuring out like, yo, Buffalo got something going on. Right. And then when um, in 2017, we broke into the mainstream music industry. And then in 2021, it was, we broke into the mainstream film industry on a high scale. Um, so, like, everything is taking off. Then our football team is, we like the number one football team right now in Buffalo Bills, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we finally getting our just due, you know what I mean? After years and years of grinding, we ain't had it since, like, let me see, Rick James was the last person, and he wasn't classified as a rapper. So, you know, we got our first set of rappers that made it, and then, uh, you know, me coming behind that, uh, following that, um, shit, man, we finally getting our just due, I would say. But the difference is we got our own culture, but we do got some similarities to New York. You know what I'm saying? It's cold. And, uh, you know, <laughs> we, 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 all, we, we, we all grew up in that gritty, poverty-stricken neighborhood type of environment. Yeah. I know I, I can sit here and um, vouch for what you're saying because when I the last time I went to Buffalo, I went to the, the Perry's. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the Perry Projects. <laughs> That's down there in my neighborhood. I'm from. Hey, uh, dude. Jefferson when I was Project. in the Perry in the Perry's, I was like, "Yo, y'all projects is different from ours down here." You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I one thing I could say about Buffalo is y'all are 
overall like welcoming people. Like I got a lot of love when I was up there. And I was like, man, I'm from Atlanta. They was like, oh man, come on. They, they you know, embrace That's me That's the crazy part. They gonna embrace an outsider more than they embrace <laughs> their own people. <laughs> yeah, I fucked with um, Buffalo and um, yeah, y'all y'all get money up there. I can't say that. Yeah, we ain't got no choice. It's survival of the fittest. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So what inspired you to get into like, um, into music as far as like, um, I know you said the Atlanta culture uh, you know, kind of brought you in as far as like how, you know, the sound and, you know, what we talked about down here in our music, but like on a personal scale, was it like a, a situation that you endured that was like, oh, man, I want to do music now. Um, you know what, like close to home, you know, that brought you into music saying that, you know, I want to pursue it. Realistically, bro, I always love music. I always love performing music. I mean, I say this in most of my interviews when they ask me that question. Um, as a kid, I was always performing music, like all the family gatherings and, uh, you know, cookouts, birthdays and parties. I was always a kid performing the hottest song on the radio in front of the family. So it was like this is something that I always knew I was going to do. And then once I jumped off into the streets after high school, um, I seen like people was rapping about the lifestyle that I was really living. So I'm like, shit, I already I'm into music like I really dig it, man. I know I can do this, too. You know what I'm saying? I know I can do this too, but you know, through the trials and tribulations of uh, going in and out of prison and you know what I'm saying, taking some years off of the uh, account, being away, um, it stagnated my growth. It's like every time I got to a certain level, about to blow all the way up, it's like, boom, the streets took me off of the streets, you feel me? So it was like, I had to leave that totally alone in order to fulfill um, you know, me my obligations to being a successful artist. Okay, so like how do you handle like you know, um, you know, you're successful. You know what I'm saying? You're wearing your success. You can, I, you don't even have to say anything. Like, yo, whatever he does, this man is getting to it. So, like, how do you deal with like, you know, um, just the the type of attention you get, you may get, like from like females. Like, how do you decipher? Like, okay, you know, this is for me. This is not. Like, how do you decipher between like, you know, right. the two? I'm gonna be honest, bro. It's 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 tough right now uh, trying to find. I don't. I'm not even searching for love because most of it is fake these days. Because it's like, um, you know, the social media and certain music types got people moving a certain type of way. So it's like, um, most of the love is fake. It's all about what you can do for a person. So it's like it's not genuine. And uh, right now it's hard to it's hard to determine who is really for me and who is just really for the clout or the money or whatever that they think they can get from me. And, uh, you know, uh, but me personally, I'm never going to stop living my life. I hear a lot of people saying like, hey, uh, most of the billionaires wearing Walmart sweatsuits and da, 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 da. If I'm a billionaire, I'm still going to enjoy the things that I like to do. Because why be having all, of, oh, excuse me, why have all of this money and you done created all the success and you can't even enjoy it? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't think that that's an accurate statement to say, oh, man, you, 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 you want people that got money don't show it. Why not? Why I can't enjoy my money? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what, I'm supposed to get all this success and money and, and, and accolades for somebody else to enjoy it when I die? Like, that's crazy. I mean, of course, I'm going to leave something for the kids and shit, but why I can't enjoy my own shit that I worked hard for? I've been doing this a long time, so Thanks. any chance I get, I'm going to reward myself because ain't nobody else going to reward me. Okay, okay. So, like, in comparison... Like, would you say the same thing about like friends and family? Have they, Absolutely. have you endured that? Like far as the, the change of how they treat you as well? Man, I was just, me and my homie was just on the phone talking about this earlier. Like, you know, the, the rate of coin requests and coin is like money <laughs> requests that I get and that we get from strangers, family and friends. Like I got some family members that only call me for money. Like it, it sucks to say that, but like I live in Atlanta by myself. I'm a single black male. And I live in Atlanta by myself. I don't have no, you know what I mean, nobody. So it's like, motherfuckers don't call and check on me. How's everything going? Is you feeling okay today? Uh, is your mental together? You know what I'm saying? There's, hey, man, I got this situation, man. You think you can help me out? Like, what? Like, you know, like, so when you start ghosting people and they say, oh, he got rich and switch or he acting funny, I don't even care about that, bro, because at the end of the day, I have to protect my energy because a lot of people is vampires, man, just be trying to steal everything. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I know, like, I know, um, you know, when we were uh, discussing doing like, you know, music and going on tour, um, I had a respect for you. You you offered me an opportunity. Yeah. I, I don't know if you remember the conversation. And you was like, yeah, June, um, these are the stipulations, whoop, whoop, you know what I'm saying? This is an opportunity for you. 
And, you know, I had to, I let you know, like, hey, man, you know, um, I see your grind, this, that, and the third, but, you know, um, I don't want to come on your situation as if, you know, I'm leeching, or it may appear like that or whatever. Like, cause at the end of the day, if I'm not, I'm working to be your equivalent, you know what I'm saying? And I respect what you're doing. And, um, you know, I can honestly say if that conversation would have went with somebody else, they would have felt some type of way, the way you was like, you know what? When you're on this tour, you got to pay what you weigh. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's in and, any environment and, and, and not to cut you off, the music business, any business, you have to create value or they're not even going to want to deal with you. Like right now, any artist that's looking to go get a deal, they're not going to sign you because you think you're the hottest thing moving, bro. You got to already have motion. First thing when you go in there, let me look at your YouTube numbers. Let me see your Spotify. Let me see your Apple Music. Let me see your I I IG. Let me see your uh, let me see how many followers you got. Let me see how many gauging followers you got. Let me see how many likes you get on the post. How many views you get on the post. Yeah. Like, that's all they care about. They don't care about who you are. They don't care about just your talent is cool. They don't really care about that neither because they can build that once they they only care about what value you already bring in in order for them to scale it and make it a successful business. That's what this shit about. So it's like, you gotta bring something to the table in order for you to be a value. And that's even in anything you're doing right now and in the building relationships and for people to even deal with you. They are not gonna look at you unless that they can benefit off of you, basically. Facts. That's how this it work. For sure. Yeah, I agree, man. And you know, to this day, and I, if I haven't told you, you know what I'm saying, I respect that situation and it actually put fire on my ass like, yo, June. Bro, that dude right there is the bar, you know, because I know I've been slacking because I had a hard time adjusting with um, how the music industry is now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, at first they was like, man, this is a young man's game and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, maybe you're right. No, they lied. But it's now it's lie. like, nah, it's the, the industry is wide open. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know what? I'm going to take what that lesson I learned from that conversation, Definitely. that situation. Let me get my weight up. We can reapproach the, you know, reapproach the situation, and then we can be at the same level, and Absolutely. we can, you know, boss up on the situation. Definitely. Or shit, and that's you can why. skyrocket past, bro. There's no limits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I took you know what what from it. Or and you can skyrocket past me, bro. There's no limits to this shit, my yeah, guy. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, that's why I, I wanted to tell you Absolutely. that shit too. Definitely. Um, Absolutely. So, sure. um, I know we talked about, you know, like the streaming and stuff like that. Yeah. Man, I gotta give you. I gotta tilt my head off to you. Your numbers is crazy, man. Definitely. Like when we shot at your crib, I saw your plaques and shit. I'm like, yeah, this man got Spotify plaques. He got 500, what, 500,000? Yeah, I'm waiting on two more plaques right now for my last album, uh, Rich Energy. I just dropped September 9th. That joint did over a million streams worldwide in only three weeks. Okay. Hey, look, and I can, he's not just throwing up numbers. I can sit here and, and vouch for him. This man got plaques. He got the whole nine and it's very inspiring. Like, look, I can, I can take your hustle and compare it to like, you know, how Master P did it back in the day, but in a modern form. You know what I'm saying? You didn't, you're, you, you're doing all of this on, on the strength of you. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a machine behind you. So it's like, there is money in this industry. You just gotta know how to get this shit. <laughs> No, for real, bro. And you know I'm going to tell you the cheat code to the industry. It's not about your age and none of that. It's about the connections. Yeah. You got to. And like right now, bro, you in a good space, bro. Like I'm pretty sure you got enough connections to get yourself where you need to be. It's just, just you know what I mean? Just, just staying consistent at that point. Because you know a lot of people that's in position to, you know what I mean, make things go around, bro. And that's what it's about. Like, And that's, what, that's why I, I was so stagnant in Buffalo because we come from a small city that were probably 300,000 people on a good year population and uh we didn't have no big major outlets no connections so you know what i mean we was at a disadvantage so i was like i gotta get i gotta get out of there and get to a bigger city where is that so why not come to atlanta where is where the industry is and build my brand and get the connection so that i can be able to manifest and get to the next level with this right right and um i, I believe that um you know buffalo is going to be it's really in line in queue far as like taking over the industry. You know what I'm saying? I think that uh, right now, Memphis, I hate to say it, Memphis probably took Atlanta's reign. <laughs> Memphis going crazy right now. Shout they out going to Memphis, dumb, man. you know what Yo. I'm saying? Um, Shout out to Yo Gotti, cause he mostly responsible for a lot of that. And R.I.P. Dolph, cause he had a hand in all of that too. But like Memphis getting their shit off right now. Yeah. Salute. 
And, and I right. and I think that um, Buffalo, y'all are right there at their heels. Absolutely, you know because what I'm um, right now, you know, and uh, like the city has been dormant. Like, I mean, of course, you got artists that's doing their thing, but like it's been dormant as a whole. So like. Buffalo actually revived New York State. Like, yeah, on some real shit. y'all holding New York down because New York New City. York no, no shade. No, no, not knocking New York City. I love, um, you know, pretty much the mecca of hip hop. But definitely for sure, y'all are pretty much in last place. <laughs> no, and I sure. believe Buffalo is really keeping y'all absolutely at bay right, right now. You know, and what I'm saying? with the movie scene, like um, the movies that we dropping along with the mainstream music artists that's made it and got major deals along with the Buffalo Bills being number one team right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of factors is playing in Buffalo getting a me mainstream run in the world. Yeah, and I respect that, man. I respect that. And um, what what you got going on, man? What you got, you know, what you currently working on? Uh, I just released an album called uh, Rich Energy that's out now on all platforms. That joint doing well. And, uh, you know, I'm just blessed that I got a fan base. I just did a sold out show in my hometown. Over 450 people came out just to see me. And, uh, you know, um, Hot Girls movie coming soon. Shout out King June, the, the producer and director on that. Um, I got another uh, feature film called Pure Finesse. That's about to be everywhere as well. Shout out Deuce King and AK Reed for getting me in that joint. I'm starring in that joint too. So, man, I'm just working my move, bro. Like I said, working okay. my move, man. Okay, so if, uh, you know, anybody want to book you for a show, um, features or anything like that how can they get in contact with you yep well they, um it's a, i just got a new book and email because the other one was filled up um so it's it's ponzo houdini at gmail.com that's i-t-s ponzo p-o-n-z-o houdini h-o-u-d-i-n-i at gmail.com and also um make sure y'all check out spin tv global.com it's a new cable streaming services for um anybody that's looking to lower their cable bills and stop paying two, three hundred dollars a month for cable and having those issues. Shit, Check I out Spin TV Global is only twenty five dollars a month. Man, I need to get that because Xfinity is tripping. Man, <laughs> everybody been having problems, and you know, I came up with a solution. I partnered with some people, and we came up with a solution. It's only twenty five dollars a month. You get over thirty five hundred premium cable channels, unlimited uh, sports package. Uh, unlimited movies, unlimited. You get free pay per views. So you know, man, check it out. SpinTVGlobal.com. Oh yeah, I need that because I'm paying like three twenty. Sheesh. <laughs> a month. Man, for four for man, if you got three TVs in your house, you can pay forty five dollars a month. It's ten dollars for additional TVs. It's only twenty five dollars a month for the first TV. Oh man, yeah, I need to get that. Well, I got your card, so I'm yeah, I'm gonna look into that, man. For sure, man. Hey man, any last words, man? Oh uh, uh, man, I just want to thank God for blessing me with still being here throughout all these years of grinding, and uh, uh, to all of the new followers and fans and people that's um, just tuning into the platform. Stay tuned. I got new stuff on the way. Shout out my brother King June, man. I I I I, I want to applaud you on your progression. You know what I'm saying? Over the last year, man, you done grown so fast, bro. I already know what you're going to be in five to ten years. You're going to be astronomical. <laughs> man, I, hey, I appreciate it, man. And likewise, man. And, um, you know, I, I, I made my made it my duty and my um responsibility to stay tapped in with you man oh, no, and, um, we locked in bro you yeah. already know anything i could do to assist bro i'm here brother yeah hey, hey guess what hey look i got him um you know uh when i was on bravo or whatnot I said, man, Ponzo, come out, man. Get you man, some you gotta, time. I, I still ain't see that episode, man. Make sure you let me know an episode so I can go look for it. Yeah, right? man, I got my my guy up there, man, with a cameo on uh, Candy and the Gang. Man. Man, Shout out to know Candy. What episode. Shout out Candy and the Gang. I need to know an episode, man, because <laughs> I actually got the full season on Spin TV Global. You can watch the full season season on any TV oh, series that you like. All the seasons are up there, so you can watch them, joints. You know what? Hey, I'm, I'm, we're going we gonna to talk. We're going to talk. But, yeah. This concludes this episode of the GOAT series. You know what I'm saying? One, I'd like to say one more time, shout out to my boy Ponzo Houdini. Make sure y'all follow him on all social media platforms and make sure you go stream that album. Um, what else, man? Man, that's it, man. I just, you know, keep working, man. And then they hear about it. <laughs> they gonna read about it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And we signing off just like this here. Hey. <laughs>